Hi guys, Peter Finch here, teacher professional down at Trafford Goal Centre in Manchester. And I'm doing a video today. It's my first one back since I've been over to Scotland. If you've not seen those videos, please check them out. It's my first one since I've come back from holiday. So I feel actually a little bit ring rusty today. <laughs> but we'll crack on and we'll do this video just in response to my subscribers' questions. Yet again, you guys asking me questions. I'm doing my best to answer. Just about a hip turn and lagging the club. Now this is something which I saw very, very kind of clear and probably more clearly than I've ever done before up in Scotland when we were kind of up close with uh, Justin Rose, Stephen Gallagher, Johan Carlson, some really great ball strikers. And then I went to the Open after I came back from France on Thursday, got quite close to some of the players there as well, just actually seeing how they swing into the ball. And mainly, and again, this links in nicely to your questions, actually turning the hips and lagging the club and sinking those two movements up. And it's something, as soon as I got in um, yesterday on Friday, I was practicing straight away. Because it really is something which I saw and which I was very, very impressed by. And it's something which really kind of stuck in the memory of something you guys should try and give it a go, see basically what happens. Now, hip turn is something which kind of I've done videos before in the past. Please check out the rest of the channel. It's just from the top of the swing after the shoulders and the body have rotated away when the hips start to rotate through the ball, dragging the upper body along for the ride and really delivering a lot of power into the ball. Now, lag angle is when you get to the top of the swing, you should have about a 90 degree angle between the wrists and the club shaft. Lag angle is when, as you come down, you maintain or even increase the amount of angle in between the wrists and the club. So you can see here, I've gone from 90 if I increase the lag angle, I've increased the amount there between the wrists and the shaft. And basically what that does is it angles here, it stores up power, so when the wrists and the club straighten out at impact, you've got more power and more club head speed. Now doing it isn't easy, it is quite a complicated move, but here's a way that I found that I can do it and hopefully that you guys can do as well. So you get set up to the ball, Take a nice full turn, nice full wrist hinge, that's very important. Then as you're coming down, turn the hips, but really soften the hands. Soften them as much as you dare. By soften, I mean just relax the grip and allow that little bit of this movement here. Little bit of a lag coming down. And if you can combine that lag with a turn, you're going to increase and really put so much club head speed into the ball. And it's something, like I said, I practiced yesterday just to try and emulate some of the pros that I saw on Thursday. And it was, oh, I was hitting the ball so well. Hopefully, I can do some more now as well. And it really just allows the club to drop. And as you turn through, it really does just add a massive, massive punch of power into the ball. Because one thing I was noticing about my ball flight, I was noticing it was getting a little bit higher, but it wasn't really getting much distance. It was a little bit kind of, just a little bit kind of soft out there. It wasn't really penetrating through the air. Now I've just added a little bit more lag angle on the downswing, combine that with a hip turn. The distance is oh, it's increasing. Probably added about 10 yards in a day. I'll have to get out on the course and test it, but that's pretty much what it is. And the one thing which is nice is I've not actually felt like I've had to increase my actual body turn. I've not had to really increase and put much more effort into the way I'm hitting it. Just because I'm getting that lag and I'm combining it with a hip turn, the ball is going much, much further without, well, without any more effort. No. So it's improved my game straight away. Hopefully, guys, it can improve yours as well. So what we want to be seeing is a full hip turn, full hip turn, these are your shoulders, a full shoulder turn up to the top of the swing. Then from there, the hips start to rotate towards the target and the hands and the wrists soften and even increase the amount of angle between the wrists and the club shaft. Not an easy movement, um, combination of movements to get together. Um, it will start to feel very, very strange quickly when you start to practice it. But if you can get it together, the rewards can be so, so beneficial. Now, what I'm actually gonna do, because again, just in response to some of your requests, 
I'm actually just going to kind of carry on hitting balls here at the end of the video. A few of you guys have asked me just to start swinging, just so you can actually have a look at the rhythm, which I'm very flattered about, guys, by the way, that I'm getting so much positive feedback from you about my swing. So what I'll do is I'll end the video here as far as the lag and the hip turn are concerned, but I'll just carry on swinging for a bit, just so you can maybe have a look at my swing and just see what you think, basically. So thanks very much for uh, watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. Like I said, check out the Scotland video. Some really, really good stuff in there. So uh, thumbs up the video. Uh, feel free to share it around. Uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. And I'll just carry on kind of hitting shots now. So guys, I'll see you next time. And I'll shut up and hit some balls. Might play some soothing music in the background as well. I'll probably hit about 10, 20 balls for you guys. Just pull some out. Every single one of them though, just working on the lag angle. And by the way, this is the same for every club. Only the ball position alters, which alters the angle of attack. You can do this with three wood, with a driver, any club you want. I'll shut up and I'll hit some balls. See that, guys? Not a swing to follow on that one. So turn, lag. Yes, indeed. Right, guys, if you stayed, um, stayed around for this long, uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Please feel free to share it. Comment below as well. I'd love to hear you get your guys' feedback as well. Uh, let me know how you get on with these changes. And I'll see you next time.